I'm a professional. I'm a professional. She's a professional. And she's a professional. Script game impeccable. Them script game impeccable. Them yacht fun so plentiful. You know them things so plentiful. We young and Bruce S. We young and Bruce S. Young and Bruce S. We young and Bruce S. We young and Bruce S. We young and Bruce S. Just young and Bruce S. Just young and Bruce S. You are now at the brew spot with the brew professionals. It's the brew professionals, baby. Big brew <laughs> Get out your book sack, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> you back. You, you back. back. You back. And we welcome you back. You know what we always push? We put your hood first, so it's all the steam to your, your hood. We welcome you to the brew <clears throat> spot. I'm your host. It's your favorite op, beloved dog. It's, it's your, your favorite, favorite op. op. And all your co host Script Flair, woo! Woo! 613 Split It Ash. All the steam to your hood. All the steam to your hood. And I'm your co host, Mish Pot. Burn them up, Mish. Burn them up, Mish. All the steam to your hood. All the steam to your hood. Hey man, y'all already know the motto Two Muscles Up, Two Muscles Up. Hashtag Two Muscles Up. Big Brew Support. Shout out to Big Bro Luz. Shout out. Big Bro Ed Dot on the ones and twos. Shout out. He had playback sounds. Shout out. If you want to, um, hey man, if you need if you need a podcast or anything, you know what I'm saying, like like this, man, you want to hear yourself, you want to hear yourself behind some real quality sound, man. <laughs> Make sure you go to playback playbacksound.com. Not only is the sound quality, is also in your budget. Man, make sure you go check out our big brothers, man, for all their quality needs. For, yeah. You know what I'm for all your quality needs, excuse me. Right. And um, if you're looking for a man of, a man of snack, man, I know y'all been seeing, um, man, sandwich on top of sandwich on top of sandwich. Jeez, with the chills. You know with the chills. You <laughs> feel me? That, you go this, um, the Wave 613, man. Make right. sure you bring your floaties. Life God don't do. They told you don't right. hop in the pool right after you eat, now. <laughs> 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 you might catch a crowd. So. Oh, <laughs> we got uh, well, for the righteous threads, man. We done start revamping things, man. Go check out your lawful house tea. Lawful, lawful house, lawful tea. house, lawful, lawful house tea. Um, um, never dealing swine. You hear what I'm saying? You hear what I'm saying? Make sure you go. Um, that's a new thing. Revamping some things. Make Fresh. sure you go get a little more quality, a little way out, man. But the splash gonna be crazy. Fresh. You know what I mean? Splash gonna be so crazy. Yeah. Go make sure you go on um, for make sure you keep up, man, and make sure you go check out six one three um six one three splash dot com. Make sure you go check out six one three splash dot com and for all your um free righteous music, make sure you go to mindcultureforever.com dot com. For free. free, free ski, and make sure you go check it out for that free. That's straight, Bad, strictly yes. for the people. Strictly for the people. Strictly for the people. Um, real, you know what I'm saying? All for the family. Everybody can ride in. You, your grandma, your children, everybody. Ain't nothing in there. Look. Little amount of chip at the end of a few songs, all that good stuff. Few right. seconds you get. Good Today, chills. what we're gonna be going over though is um <laughs> something that um somebody will say we don't do that, and we know goodness well what the script to say about uh -oh. it. But we be like um we don't do that. But this is when it comes to self examination and knowing what the word mean. Right. You ever spoke to somebody and you said a word and you know they knew that they you know they didn't know what the word meant, but they mm -hmm. continue to go through the convo. See, right. you missed a, you missed something because you didn't totally understand what I say. So that's why we get into arguments because everybody want to play intelligent. Right. You know what I'm saying? Knowing that this is how we sharpen each other. Right. So we are gonna go over tail bearing, and what is it, what is a tail bearing? So when we get when we get the um. Literally, if we get the understanding of what a tail bearer is, we both can see what a tail bearer is. We can de we can determine if me or you, anybody else, is, is a tail bearer. Right. And from that point on, then we must correct it. Right. See what I'm saying? So this, what we're going to be talking about today is um, tail bearer. What is a tail bearer? Mm -hmm. Please don't be a tail bearer. <laughs> Big things. <laughs> <laughs> Big, th <laughs> Big things like that. But, man, y'all already know we're going to jump off in that one this next segment, man. So, um... We gonna let y'all listen to a few righteous oh, tunes, yeah. a little righteous tune or something. Few jams. <laughs> <laughs> you are now at the brew spot with the brew professionals. It's the brew professionals, baby. <laughs> Burn them up, miss. Brothers. Yeah. 
No Folly Zone. It's your favorite eye for you. Huh. I live before you who will finally free. Finally free. You can take a look and gotta pee. Gotta pee. Who knew a tree could grow up out the streets? Out the streets. You who have made it happen certainly. I never keep no credit on me. I always keep the debit on me. Who care what they say about me? Just know I always keep it folly free. We don't hate nobody, hate the folly. Keep it one way, never poly. 613, that's the logic. Seems to be the only thing I process. One way, got them soggy with me. Water cornflake, broad day, not the Broadway. Law and all day, cruising, righteous moving. They don't like that, proving. Scribble life bars on right rap, short breaths, not the long drawn. ET phone home, earth stars with the space bars, brother far gone. I'm on purpose, well sifted, ain't no leaven in it. They talk about me, but they never put my present in it all way. All that fast living hit a heartbreak Broke down, didn't know you who I had a call gate Strangers never getting through They don't know the rules Give help, then you get help Easy concept I live before you who are finally free. finally free You can take a look and gotta pee. gotta pee Who knew a tree could grow up out the streets, out the streets. You who have made it happen certainly I never keep no credit on me I always keep the debit on me Who care what they say about me You are now at the brew spot with the professionals It's the professionals, baby <laughs> <laughs> And I'm your host, it's your favorite out, beloved Dao It's your favorite out and I'm your co-host, Mish Pat. Burn them up, Mish. Burn, Burn them up, up, Mish. And I'm your co-host, Script Flair. Woo! Woo! A 613 split it ass from above. All the steam to you. All the steam to you. Yeah, I'm, and I'm going to just go ahead and slide the last song in the, one, of my, <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite songs. Uh, uh, Believe it, you feel me? Yeah. Y'all ain't heard that yet. They ain't heard that yet, have they? They believe it? Yeah, they ain't heard that. Nah, now, y'all ain't heard that yet, but when y'all do, whoo! <laughs> By your favorite out, my favorite out, everybody's favorite out. You know what I'm saying? Look, you know the art, they love hate. Oh, uh, okay. So, uh, we back in this thing, man. And uh, I'm gonna just go ahead, and jump it off, and get into this subject because this is a real spicy subject. You know, around this time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's going on right now? So, uh, Bruce Basco. Yeah, Bruce Basco. A Bruce Basco. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a uh, tail bearer, and uh, a tail bearer is a person who maliciously gossips or reveals secrets, one that spreads gossip or rumors. Sheesh! And I got a few scripts, two scripts. Now my first one is uh, Proverbs eleven thirteen, which says a tail bearer reveals secrets, but he that is of a faith faithful spirit concealeth the matter. Okay, and I got another one. That's uh, Matthew 12, and that's 36 and 37. But I say unto you, that every idle word that man shall speak, they shall give an account thereof in the day of judgment. For by the words thou shalt be justified, and by the words thou shalt be condemned. Shoot. Now, these passages of scripture teaches us that habit or tendency to be conduits of gossip is forbidden in the scriptures. It should not be encouraged nor indulged, especially amongst brethren and family members. Tailbarrel is not only restricted to falsehoods or half truth, it also includes things that are actually true, but that are derogatory about your brother or your sister. Okay? Yahuwah, pro Yahuwah prohibits the practice of carrying bad news about a person's feelings or the habit of gossiping about the mistakes and sins of others. That's right. Really. So you shouldn't you shouldn't go around here tail bearing, man. You feel me? It's like hey, what, it, it, get you some work. If you ain't got nothing to do, man, <laughs> you got, hey, you gotta get you something to do, man. That's right. Man. Yeah, you can't be idle out here, man. That's right. You can't just, be idle. It's just like your mom and daddy used to say, uh, 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 idle mind. Right. Or or 
whatever. Hey, don't take my business out this house. <laughs> facts. You know what I'm saying? Don't okay, take my business facts. out this house. That's facts. It's like if we're part that's of what you who was saying. Facts, yeah. if we're part of this house. We can come talk to each other. Facts. We can go to the we can go to the big mind. Right. At any time. It ain't no. It ain't. It ain't no. I should never take an opportunity. Mm -hmm. To break, to try to tear down anything I did not build up. Exactly. I met, you know, you meet brothers and sisters in the truth already. Right. You didn't build them up. I didn't build them up. We didn't build them up. So we can't take part in, in tearing them down. Mm -hmm. You have to allow the one who built them up to um, tear down or topple that tower down. Right. But literally. If a man if a man built himself up, you will also see. He would right. topple him him own so down. down. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't it ain't got nothing to do with us. So that's why even if it says that um I'm a, I'm gonna read this real. I'm gonna go into a little video. We can go straight to the law for the law man in you. <laughs> this is for the law man in you. <laughs> okay. Leviticus 19, 16 through 18. Everybody got the law man in them. Even if they want to say it's done away with, what somebody say, you should love your brother. That's law. The lawman. You get everyone has a little law on them. Leviticus for the lawman in you. You. <laughs> <laughs> Leviticus nineteen sixteen. Thou shalt not go up and down as a talebearer among thy people. So you shouldn't even do that among even going down the road up and down. See if it's between you and I. Don't go up and down the road talking mm -hmm. about something that right. is personal, right? It says, neither shalt thou stand against the blood or the life of your neighbor or your or, or your brother. I am your hood. You can't stand in the, in, uh, against the blood of your brother. That's right. If, if we if we both see the if we both see the same, you're just looking. Uh, you just want to fight. Right. We're both reading the scripts. I read better. <laughs> That's what you say. Well, man, be the, the greatest reader you can be. I always get, hey, man, um, Scholastic Book Reader. Fair, fair. Hey, man, you get the Scholastic Book Reader Club. You got it. Fair. Yeah, you, you, surely, you surely got that. It say, thou shalt not hate thy brother in, in your heart. Mm -hmm. Thou in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. It said, in any wise rebuke him. If you see he wrong, then rebuke him. That means come to your brother and correct him. And not suffer sin upon him. Why would you go and put me on trial when it literally says you shouldn't want sin to? You shouldn't want me to um, suffer the sin upon me. You should want me to be redeemed with with good actions. You should want right. the Most High to forgive me. You should want me to come to repentance. Facts. But if you openly, openly rebuke. Then you put a man on trial and you want the, you want him to suffer the sin upon this man. It doesn't make sense when people right. do that. When literally it says you shouldn't be a talebearer. We're going to get more into this talebearing. Let's we'll get on this 18. Right. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of your people. You should not avenge. That means if somebody did something to you of your people, don't go take it out on them. Don't do nothing. It's Because who is the avenger? Right. He's our vengeance. He said, of your people, you shouldn't go do nothing. Okay, bro, since we on the law, and that's what you want to do, that's what you do it, or no bear a grudge. So once it happens, it's done. It's over with. But thou shalt love thy brother as thyself. If you really offended me and we could and, and we could just separate and go each other way, cool down and come back to the table, I'm going to treat you like I would want to be treated. So right, I'm going right. I'm to I'm I'm get away from you, allow you to breathe, so you can get your words together. So that we don't say these things that could possibly damage some things that we can't come back from. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? That could damage some things. So, so you're trying to not keep that fire or that wood, that, that right. fire burning. So you're just trying to get away from it so it doesn't have any more wood to burn on. So a man who keeps bringing things up into the forefront, that man has some wood in there against you. That's the beam in his eye, that worthless stuff in his eye. That's catching fire, just like shaft, as it call it, or tumbleweed. If we if we did if we put a lighter to a dry tumbleweed right now, but that boy kept woof, cause it's dry and brittle. See that man's dry and brittle. He has no no life rolling through him. That's why it's so easy for him to catch on fire. Facts. 
with that worthlessness in their eyes. Forgiveness, mercy. Now this is, these are the things that put out fires. These are the things that don't kindle fires, but these are the things that also make life come, you know, come from um, dead things. Water. You know what I'm saying? First the land must be scorched. Even be purged. Feel me? It has to be down to nothing. So we have to go ahead and get this situation down to nothing. Right. Feel what I'm saying? Of course fires, you know what I'm saying? People go do that back and forth. But that's between each other. If we were in one room and you were in one room, I mean, if we were both in one room and we spoke and it didn't go out of there, then that's between us. We shouldn't leave out that room and tell everybody else. But when you put it, when you put something in the midst of a thousand people, bro, now you 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 leave it open for a million mm -hmm. Facts, to right. judge the situation. But based on the bias, based on a biased decision, you know, if when you put it out in the world like that, you put it to people who barely even know the law, exactly. barely even understand how to distinguish who's right or wrong. So am I? So am I going, why would you do that? Right. Why would I put a person um, in a position to judge something that they can't judge? Right. It's going to be based on emotions, emotions and feelings. Right. That's why tail bearing is bad. Because people are going to bear tail or go around running around bearing tails and not going to be able to understand the, the fullness of the story. Right. Because that person's only going to tell it from their perspective. Right. You can't tell it from my perspective. You can even tell it from your neighbor perspective if, you know what I'm saying, if you wanted to. Go read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Sure, surely the, they, they all encountered the same thing, but they, they worded it. They worded it in, in, a, in a different manner. They all said what they seen and it did match up, but the way he spoke wasn't the way right. he spoke. But they said the same thing. That's just what it is. You can't you can't just say, oh, I, I know from his perspective too how he felt because literally I I don't know how you feel on the inside about me about the situation mm -hmm. until it comes out. But why not just bring it to your brother, right, or your sister, right? See now, when you bring it to somebody, you don't bring it to somebody with in in um in malice. Mm -hmm. You don't call their phone like, hey, look at him now. And then, and then said, I came to reason with my brother. That's not reasoning. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because what it's a um, oppression takes a wise man's reason. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? It takes it takes his it takes his ability to reason sometimes. Right? When somebody keep pressing you, right? You don't want to reason with you no more. You done press me all the way out of here. Now, now you done press this little olive, and now you getting that oil, and now you don't want it. <laughs> Stop pressing the issue. See, that's what people have to do. See, that's what it's talking about. People mm -hmm. pressing issues. We can't keep pressing issues. We have, we have to. It's a come to your, come to your um, enemy. Why, why yet y'all can't agree? Right. Once you, if I came to you and said. When I see you next time, I'm smashing something. It ain't no coming back from there once right. we're already on that move. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So you gotta watch what you do. You, you are, are now, now at the brew spot with the brew professionals. It's the brew professionals, baby. <laughs> yeah. It's your favorite out. Uh, yeah, connect. Yeah. I'm talking all that. I can do that 613. I'm doing all that. Disappointed, my yahoo. I had to call back. I missed the call from mama, foes and never called back. It's plenty love, plenty right. Just talking all that. I can do that 613. I'm doing all that. Let a negative do them, I know they all count Yeah, you who in my ventures 
that's a long stretch. Hating ain't my father business, that's the wrong day. If you right, just let me live and wipe me for a flat. I put my life in all but handy, judging all that. Know the truth, but slander brothers, that is fraud route. They saying everybody going, that is broad route. Not in public, but in private, they my heart now. These people praying that I die, tell them not now. I'm too busy serving God, staying good peace. Ain't no beefing with no chicken, I don't mix me. Hold this logic like a fat, I never mistreat. With that part time brewing, you can miss me. I can do that 613, I'm doing all that. Disappointed my Yahoo, I had to call back. I missed the call from all my foes and never called back. It's plenty love, plenty righteous talking all that. I can do the 613, I'm doing all that. Disappointed my Yahoo, I had to call back. I missed the call from all my foes and never called back. It's plenty love, plenty righteous talking all It's the professionals, baby. <laughs> and I'm your host. <laughs> it's your favorite up, beloved Dao. It's your favorite up. You know your co-host Script Flow. Woo! Woo! Six one three. Split it ass from above. All the stay to you. All the stay to you. And I'm your co-host, Mitch Pot. Burn them up, Mitch. Burn them up, Mitch. All the stay to you. Who? All the stay to you. Who? And we back at the Bruce spot. Well, you back at the Bruce spot with the Bruce Fashions. <laughs> you back. <laughs> and y'all know we brewing that playback sounds, the real PBS. Yeah. Shout out to Ill Doctor and Lose. Shout, Shout out, out to Ill Doctor on the ones and twos. Still doctor in the house. Yeah. And that song that just went off right there was that All That by your favorite up. Ooh. <laughs> I love it, All That. All that. You can go get all the free music at myculturefellow.com. Yeah. And if you're looking for some righteous threads and urban service gear and the $180 suit, you can go to 613 splendor.com <laughs> and that Lawful House. All the stick. All the stick. Yeah. Yeah, and man. get your Lawful House. No swine. And if you're looking for some manna chips, some light guards on duty, you can go to the way 613.com and go check out the latest episode of that Grilling Script out there in Jacksonville. Yeah. And then if you're looking... Oh wait, I see right now. Fast. Fast. And you back at the blue spot. And right now I'm going to my segment, going to the perspectives. The perspective of the word perspective and your hood perspective. That's right. But I'm gonna talk on the perspective of how to deal with a brother when he offends you. That's right. See in the world we, they tell us that or we're taught that when somebody offends us, we must retaliate with some type of slander. Because you mm -hmm. go back with some physical violence. That's right. Mm -hmm. And that's that don't do nothing but lead to more negativity and keep going to the ongoing right. cycle. Of it. But Yahusha, who is the law, came and right. told us that when a brother offends us, first go to your brother in private. Mm -hmm. But then, if he don't hear you, then you'll go to him with one or two to have two or three witnesses that establish a matter. Right. And then, if they don't hear you, then you bring it to everybody. And then, if he don't hear them, then you treat that man as a heat. Right. That's right. right there could prevent all the type of violence and things like that that can keep going. Right. If we go and treat our brother like that, if he offends. That's right. Because, see, that was the diffuser. You try to diffuse the problem. But, see, if your brother don't have a problem, if he's not continuing, see, it's a back and forth. Right. You feel what I'm saying? It's a back and forth. See, it has to be back and forth first. See, if your brother trespass against D, go and tell him his fault. I'm telling you how you offended, but if you come off real um, nonchalant and, and out the way, you know what I'm saying, woo -dee -woo -dee -woo. so like, look, man, really, how you telling you, look, man, you don't really, with these process, take this process and it could defend it until you, before you go try to expose somebody or do anything like that, make sure it's before people, it says the church, so make sure it's before people who can make a valid judgment. Fair. Not before um, immature people who don't understand scripture. Um, you put a matter out and then try to twist scripture to make it match to those who are babes, who are but babes. Mm -hmm. See, well, I see I told them this, but we just went to the law first. And it told you this before before um, Yahushua had to mention it. Fair. 
You know what I'm saying? He had to come right here and then give you the process when it literally said up there, look, don't go around tail bearing, bro. Right. Up and down that street now. Just talk to your brother now. That's what he told you first. Don't stand against the blood of your brother. Fast. In judgment. Don't just go out there and spoke. It say you should rebuke him. In any wise. And not suffer sin upon him. This is what they're saying. The same thing. Fact. What other way to establish a word but to have a witness? Two or two or more. So you can't just keep going by yourself. See, if I go by myself, right? And then I don't, and, and you don't hear me, and then it's that. Okay. If it's not big, if it's not a, a big enough issue to keep this thing, woof, I'm going to leave it be. That's what it need to be, because it says that, that the sun don't need to go down on your wrath. Right. So this whole process must take place. See, this is it's saying that this right here, you go to him, then he, you still going. See, don't make the matter be brought before the people. Right. For real, for real. Right. You know what I'm saying? You get your, you get, you see, probably get their little licks and she'll run. Don't make it come out before the people for real, for real. Right. Based upon truth and the structure of the law. You feel what I'm saying? Right. It, that's the way it's supposed to be. See, so nobody's going to run telling your story or going to, you know, <laughs> Hop on the phone and tell nobody your your tale. That has nothing to do with anybody. See, that ain't right. what we supposed to do. When we start dragging innocent people in, then innocent people start feeling something about another person that they should not feel nothing about. Right. If you have not met or encountered or had the chance or had the opportunity to meet someone, you should not have an impression before they get there. Isn't that how people told you with the scriptures? They done set us up the impression of the scriptures so so tough. Mm -hmm. A Caucasian man wrote it. You know what I'm saying? Um, it contradicts itself. Um, not all the words are true in there, but it has a lot of good information. <laughs> they try to shoot a lot of text. Oh, oh, it's, it got a lot of story. It's a lot of uh, fictitious stories in there. The characters are just fictitious characters who never existed. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. So this yeah. is the introduction to the scriptures. Right. If somebody was going to get into the scriptures, that is their introduction. <laughs> Put him on in the non in the in the fiction um, books by the make believe. So if they say, now if they say religious, right, if they placing a book, if this same book they say is make-believe, they pressing it into the religious part, then guess what everybody's saying? Religion is made up. Right. It's some fictitious thing. Mm -hmm. I agree. <laughs> but the scriptures are not supposed to be in the fiction right. section. Because this deals with the real people. Right. How you go to numbers, what are they, 1 and 18? And they tell you that a man establishes the nationality of the child. Does that sound like um, dragons flying and all this other stuff? It doesn't. See what people, what people, if you never dealt with Yahuwah or you never seen a miracle, you wouldn't know what to expect. Right. Because you don't deal with that power. You deal with rocks and sticks. Right. So rocks and sticks, rocks and sticks going to let you, let you do whatever. Right. Rocks and sticks don't let you do whatever. You go pray to your rocks and sticks. When you, you ask him, you ask him, hey, should I do it? And you're going to tell your own self, yeah. yeah. And you're going to go. That's why it's always saying that. <laughs> you don't fool yourself. You feel me? Fast. That ain't what we doing. You got to cooperate with the power. Fast. If you definitely do what it says in the manual, because it has to be instructions. Now it's telling you from the beginning, it opens up and lets you know somebody was given this word and that boy did not, he did not hearken to all that Yahuwah said, but he chose to hearken to something else outside of what he was supposed to be maintaining. Right. If you're the greater light, how do you allow something to dim you? What else is what else is greater than your light? If I have enlightened you, okay. people come talking science. Okay, facts. Well, I got you who. 
well, that doesn't make you do well. How can you prove in this? Well, you're saying through somebody else's observation mm -hmm. and somebody else's experience or experiments. You're not saying that you 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 went through this technically, are you? Well, that would make you the scientist. Well, I need you to be the scientist and tell me the information. Then I'll believe it. Because it's from my brother. But if you're going if you're going based off some information that you said um, first you say in this in this text a Caucasian wrote it so that disqualifies it for our people. But then you go to a science and say, yeah, a Caucasian wrote this too, and it doesn't disqualify it. Facts. Message. So so <laughs> little no I'm not you know, and this is not speaking against this is real real this real accusations. Right. You know what I'm saying? Placed on the table, this is what people are saying. You know right. what I'm saying? See, I'm not gonna call you you white because that's a color. That's in the crayon box. We right. we intelligent over here. You know what I'm saying? But this is what they are saying that they they wrote it, they did the science and this right here, so it discredits it. But you look at it, you say, well, actually, man, actually everybody has picked up this this text. And then they placed theirs next to it to kind of make something just like Nimrod did. Mm -hmm. He had the scripts over here, but he wanted his own set of instructions. Right. So people looked at the scripts and they got their own set of instructions. I'm so tired of people saying, well, Egypt got the same story in their walls. Right. They do. Everybody comes from Noah, you remember? <laughs> so even Noah had that story that he told his kids and his grandchildren. That's a fact, that They come off of Ham. So of course Ham would have been told his kids what Noah told him. Even though these brothers did sins that got them cursed, it ain't like they lived their life according to that. Right. The whole time, but due to your wickedness, can't nothing good come from that seed. The deed is already done, and it's already in the earth. Even if you repented and came back, Sorry. it's already done. It's a deed. Well, it's a deed. Not well done, but a deed already done. Flash. You already planted it, and it already took root. So now you got to eat the fruit. That's fair. That's fair. Right. You are now at the brew spot with the professionals. It's the professionals, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh. Them up, miss. Miss. Brothers. Yeah. For well, him. Coach, it's your favorite album. Oh, yeah, yeah. A lot of courage written on my face. We both a clean walk, never leave a trace. You giving up, man? It's such a waste. A waste. You sticking to it, he will make a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That right, that right. Oh, yeah. Get right, get right. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Get right, get right. Used to have all the goods of the world till I fell in the gutter. Glad I'm in it with my brothers. Living right, temptation ain't a thing. When the body in the room, I get an agreement with each other. I ain't worried about the devil in the folly on don't meddle. I just keep my head pointed at the mission. Only dealing with the facts, these facts from experience, hard proof, I don't do the intuition. You who would that my mighty one made me put the mighty on? Ain't no off brand brother, this the top. Ain't no halfway serving, that's that set apart burden. I'm just out here trying to get the whole up. Honey for, honey, honey for what? Righteous mode, I'm on my feet, just like a sock. Daddy home, wifey whipping out the pot. House ruler, give you who are all the props. A lot of courage written on my face. A clean walk, never leave a trace. You giving up, man, it's such a waste. You sticking to it, he will make a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That right, that right. Uh, yeah, get right, get right. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Get right, get right. Get 
right, get right. Get right, get right. A lot of courage rigging on my face. We both. A clean walk, never leave a trace. You giving up, man, it's such a waste. You sticking to it, he will make a way. You are now at the Bruce fight with the professionals. It's the professionals, baby. <laughs> and I'm your co host, Mish Pot. Burn them up, Mish. Burn them up, Mish. And on your co host, Script Flood. Woo! Woo! 613 Split It Ash. All the steam to your hood. All, All the steam, steam to, to your, your hood. hood. And I'm your host, It's Your Favorite Op, Beloved Daoud. It's, it's Your, your favorite, favorite Op. Y'all know already know where we at, man. Playback sounds. Shout out to Big Bro Lou's and Doc One and Ones and Twos. Man, y'all already know the dot coms, man. Y'all definitely gotta make sure you dot com everybody, man. Dot com. You, you get dot com all the brands. Dot you feel com. what I'm saying? Dot com all your Hula brands. You feel what I'm saying? Facts. Yeah, we definitely on the. We, hey, he definitely on the World Wide Web. Man, he definitely man. does. We, hey, we his secretaries. We just manage a little office a little bit. That's all we do. That's it. You know what I mean? We come to work dressed in our leisure like this little man's a great boss. You feel me? Wow, wonderful. Me? I don't know why you so uptight. Wonderful boss. They hit, they hit, they hit building. <laughs> All the Make sure you go get your Lawful House t-shirt. Never dealing swine, man. Never Lawful dealing house, swine. Lawful House, man. You feel me? Make sure you go get that uh, free. Hey, make sure you go to get all your free music, man. Make sure you go get all your free music from um, mindcultureforever.com. Make sure you go check, get it all out, man. Make sure you go get all the all the latest fashion um, from um, 613splash.com. Dot com and make sure you go get you know what I'm saying all the mountain you all the mountain you can eat. Oh my mama. Yeah you know I mean it raining mountain. Raining mountain. Three ninety nine. Yeah man go to on uh, to the wave six one three. Facts. Like God always on duty. Okay so we got the uh today we dealing with tail bearer. Tail bearer. Okay to to have a tail. Okay so we'll bust it down to the from the um uh, I guess the compound word. So a tale is a fictitious or a true narrative or story, especially one that is imaginatively recounted. Mm. When somebody goes into their imagination mm. and, and try to all those holes in the story, they fill them in. Man. Yeah, because the other holes is the other person that was involved. So right. they're going to leave those holes out. I mean, they're going to leave all of that out. Right. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to say what they have to from an imaginative um, point of view. Right. Meaning that they got to fill in the holes with something synthetic. Right. You know what I'm saying? Meaning they, they done been through some things in life and they're able to make, able to curve things because that's the way things have been in life. Right. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? When you're more experienced than somebody or you more you done has a little experience in, in lying and deceiving <laughs> and, and all those things, it's very easy. It's, there, it's very easy for that to happen. You know That's right. So, so these are the things we have to weed out of ourselves. Mm -hmm. When we have these things, it said that those are not fruit of the spirit. Right. Those are fruits of the flesh. Okay, so we just have to work on killing the flesh. Not that you condemning anyone. It's just literally, if we're running around telling tales that we have poured, poured our we have filled in the holes ourselves. That's from an imaginative uh, point of view. Right. Because you did not tell it the way it's supposed to be told. You know what I'm saying? The true report. Yeah. You didn't give the true report. With bearer, okay, it's a person or a thing that carries or holds something. Mm -hmm. Okay? So it's saying that you should not be a vessel made for carrying imaginative stories. Okay? Fictions are true narratives. Right. Even if it's true, you shouldn't run around carrying it. You shouldn't be a, a vessel of uh, stories. Right. You just go get it out the first day. Right. Just get it out. If you allowed it, if you if you heard it and you know what's going on and you know exactly what happened, let it go. Or just bring it out that day. Okay? We got I got one for him. I got one for him. Okay. And then we gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna do Ephesians 4, 26, 32. Okay. Be ye angry and sin not. Okay, hey, if you if you be angry, you come and sin not. It said it said don't be angry, 
No one can be angry and sin not. If you are angry and you're going to stay angry, it's hard to stay away from sin. It's hard to stay away from offending your hood when you're angry because you're doing things to get back at someone, right? Let not the sun go down upon your wrath so it can keep bubbling up. Do not allow that seed to sit in there and grow and to take root. Neither give place to the devil, the adversary of good. Don't give, don't give no, don't give him no place to come in between and mediate that issue because he's an instigator. If anybody come in that, if anybody jumps in somebody battle when they not, they're not trying to defuse it, not trying to become the, the peacemaker, because it says blessed is the peacemaker. So if you're not jumping in to cause any peace, then you should just stay out of it. Or you become just as them. You gave place for the devil. So now we got to see who's playing the advocate. The one, the devil instigates. The devil is the one that uh, points the finger. The devil is the one that, oh, look, 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 look at him, look at him, look at him. When did Yahusha do that? Yeah. But all through the book, you see the devil look at him, look at him, look at him. Always expose the weakness of the house. Go tell business, look at Balaam in the, in the wilderness. Going to mess with Balak. And how he told the secrets. How, how to uh, defeat his brothers by exposing their weaknesses. And that boy died. Traitor. Exposing house business. Right. Running up and down telling what's going on in the house to people who don't understand the house. Right. Those are strangers. If you truly indeed know the law, we're dealing by the same law. Ain't no way we should be running out dealing with telling folks to judge of judge, um, our situation based on a standard they don't know. Then we're asking them to decide by their heart. But he said a man who leans on, on his own understanding is a fool. So you're looking, you're looking to make your people make foolish decisions. You're putting a stumbling block before the people. Because it said if you hate your brother without cause, you are considered a murderer in the kingdom. So if I did not do anything to you, right? If I did not, you did not do anything to a person. I take myself out of it. If you did not do anything to a person, right? Mm -hmm. And some, and I came over there and told them something about you. And I caused them to hate you. I caused them to be considered a murderer in the kingdom. Because they don't have a cause to, to, hate, to hate you. They're hating you based off of a, 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 a the a witness, the testimony of one witness. Excuse me, the testimony of one witness. So if you're telling me from the account of one witness, that's already illegal, first. And if I have already convicted you, I even broke the law by violating in that manner. When you do need two or more, if you're looking for a conviction, what is the problem? Feel me. That's what they. That's why you can't walk around the tail. Mm -hmm. All right, we got an internet question from at T Magic. T Magic. T Magic. <laughs> the question is, who looks worse, the person calling out someone on social media or the person being called out? Sheesh. Yo, what's up? Y'all want to take a job? I really think you shouldn't even go to social media in the first place about nothing. You know what I mean? Keep going, they ain't gonna do nothing but make a bigger mess. Right. Like I said, you just gonna give, you know, other people, you know. Give room to the devil, give like you said. Them, you know, to say whatever they wanna say. That's right. That's a public platform, too, so. Right. Yeah, man, you should wanna keep, it, keep away from that. That's right. Yeah, man, that's why we got telephones and, uh, you know what I mean, stuff like that out here. E email. Email. Personal message. Yeah. Yo, what's up? Hey, you got you know? it. Like, they can really D you can DM somebody. Right. Di direct message me. Right. So you chose to go the, the, the public route. The public this. message me versus direct, directly message me. Right. But see, they'll say that that's direct because they at you. 
What is this? It's a big TV show out here. Why? See, that's the that's the crazy thing about it. I think the person who actually <clears throat> goes on social media and try to expose a person is is much looks way worse, worse than, the, than the than the one who, who actually responds. yeah who getting right who allowing it to happen to him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because literally, man, if you if you quiet about the matter, it really is up to the public. But if you don't know what happened, even if I came and told my story, that still leaves them two stories to decide from versus connecting them both like we both were there. People going to act like we're telling two different stories because mm -hmm. we all, we, we're approaching it at two times. So it's going to be like, no, uh, that didn't happen. Uh, uh, that didn't happen. I look even worse. See, we have to see the uh, the feminine in that act. You know, when, you know, that's a that's a sister act. You know, Whoopi Goldberg. Mm -hmm. you feel <laughs> yeah, that's a sister act, sister though. Act, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you li literally when you see, you know, when you see the sister do it, it's like okay, that's typical. Sometimes they boil over the top. They'll go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that. Not, look, man, it, it ain't even talking like it's, it's something new. Right. You know what I'm saying? I love I love our sisters even though we know our personnel though. Right. You know what I'm saying? They do go over the top sometimes. Right. See, so if you see that in as a common trait in the in the dozies, you can't a man can't be on that. When you see that in him, then that's that's a sister act, dog. That's, that's, that's a sister act. act. No whoopie. <laughs> no whoopie. <laughs> <laughs> You are now at the brew spot with the brew professionals. It's the brew professionals, baby. <laughs> yeah, who taught me everything I know? I know. That's 16, I'm just doing what I'm told. What I'm told. And I won't apologize for what I know. What I know. Oh, oh. I learned my script, now I'm good at my role Went from a yes man to tell him about me, no It ain't a guess where the culture likes some clothes uh. Uh, uh. From that living fountain, take a big swig uh. Leaning closer to the word like I can't hear yeah. I hear these carnal thinkers trying to talk spirit uh. Autopilot, how they driving, cause they can't steer yeah. I'm living by the law, never grow tired uh. Ain't no brother to the wicked, don't play both sides nah. You want more sides? Got a garment for you if that garment your size. Yeah. Really going for the truth, they only going lies. Yeah. Quoting your interpretation, then you quoting lies. Yeah. I knew who would be the truest, no, because I view it. Perfect picture, cause he drew it, nothing can undo it. Okay. Moving in it, pencil, feeling cool beans. Uh. I'm cheesing like so gentle at the good scene. Uh. They love my head team, go forever team. Uh. I choose to keep it good, only with your hood. Yeah. Who taught me everything I know? That's 16, I'm just doing what I'm told. And I wanna apologize for what I know. What I know. Oh, oh. I learned my script, now I'm good at my role. Went from a yes man to tell him how we know. It ain't a guess where the culture likes some clothes. Oh. With the brew professionals, it's the brew professionals, baby. <laughs> and I'm, oh, I'm yeah. your host. I'm, well, I'm your host. It's your favorite up, beloved dog. It's, it's your, your favorite, favorite up. And I'm your co-host, Mitch Pipe. Burn them up, Mitch. Burn them oh, up, Mitch. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm your co-host, Script Player. Woo, woo. A six one three split in there. All the steam to your hood. All the steam to your hood. Right. And man, just to um, close it out, got a few. You know what I'm saying? Um, most most of what we're looking forward to is um a Shreveport Brethren. Shreve. Yeah, the Shree. The Shree. He said he, he told me the to lingo. Shnuck Say me bro. In. He snuck me in the back door. He told me the Shree. Say bro. <laughs> yeah, so we looking for that. That's August 10th. Yes. And we also um gonna be at that Detroit, the Detroit gathering. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be in like the, I think the 16th through the 18th. Right. Of, of August too. 
Facts. So I was gonna be looking real good. Then we already we, we gonna lock something else up on and trying to lock something else up on that too, right? Mm -hmm. Big face. Right. So um, you know, huh? Detroit. Detroit. Yeah. Okay. Everything back in Detroit. Yeah. Okay. So sheesh, that D gonna be that D D fantastic. Sheesh. Yeah. Much love to Detroit, man. Shout out to the city. Shout out. Shout out to the D. Shout out yeah, to sir. the D. Three one three. Hey, so we looking for <laughs> seven three four. <laughs> so we looking forward to we looking forward to coming to uh, going to build with our brothers. Fast. Definitely get with our brothers, man, and um, uh, link up, make this wall a little tougher. Look out for our, the poor of our people, the widows in the orphans. Just as the scripture tells, just as the scripture say, the mighty one should be. So uh, you can be strong like on um, baby, or you can be a mighty one. You feel? <laughs> You are now at the brew spot with the professionals. It's the professionals, baby. Ha <laughs> ha.